Loki, can I ask uh, on Sensor 2, can I ask what your point of view on Algeria's stance is today? Uh, conflicts uh, look like uh, leading somewhere worse. Uh, I think this whole region is going to blow sky high. It, it, it's going to continue, but it's going to become, it's going to go, let's put it this way, it's going to go through some serious turmoil. Right? It's going to go through some serious turmoil, but the turmoil is going to make it stronger collectively right because what they are doing is pulling away from the western world like for example take nigeria for example okay nigeria was promised the leaders leaders were promised riches beyond their wildest dreams if they would roll out a digital currency and help build a pipeline going through niger algeria into europe to feed europe with energy right nigeria leaders said right on right they said okay dokie we will do they tried to roll out the centralized digital currency all right and it failed miserably it was only five percent uptake and there was mass riots and they pulled it back said okay we can't fucking roll the shit out right people are going to burn us alive right niger came out and said fuck this noise france and the west has been colonized has colonized us for decades stealing our resources there was a coup here they overthrew their puppets and told france to go fuck itself right and the now they have to pay market price for resources so nigeria wasn't able to roll out a central digital currency their pipeline of building a pipeline going through here to europe is done it's over no more pipeline right and what they've started to do and go well fuck this our alliance with the west is not really working out too well right two of the main things that we had planned on doing to make us rich are no more maybe we should start leaning east towards china and russia and india now they're in talks to join BRICS. the odds are in the next round of the countries that are going to join BRICS is going to be nigeria in there and they're in talks to join opec plus 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 right so nigeria is now leaning away from the west niger already has mali already has libya is a shit show egypt is already heading in the direction i'm not 100 percent about chad or sudan there's still conflict there ethiopia uh ethiopia was just in a civil war right and the western side lost right so this whole region is slowly coming together and saying okay our allegiances with the west is done they're losing ukraine proved that they're fucked russia is sending african countries free food wheat you can call it bribery if you want or you could say it's uh what do you call it uh, aid right the us does that europe does that why sh shouldn't russia be able to do that right some people would argue so this whole region plus the global majority is starting to pull away from the western world and leaning towards china and russia and india and iran and countries that are done with imperialism right they want economic security that's what's going on as I've said before, we in the West are in danger of being on the wrong side of the wall, right? That's my feelings on it.